Oh, and isn't that the cutest thing, John? And it's the perfect weather to go out to the zoo and see all of these little cute animals right now. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they're enjoying it, and we need to get out there and enjoy this, too. Uh, we have seen our temperatures not near records, but certainly above normal for this time of the year. Today, lots of sunshine coming into East Texas. We've got a few clouds starting to move in through West Texas, but we've got a couple more days of this very, very nice weather coming in East Texas, with the exception we'll have a few more clouds than what we saw this weekend. This is Futurecast, and you'll see that as we go through the rest of the evening and into tomorrow morning, we'll pick up some morning cloudiness. By lunchtime, they will begin to break up in East Texas. No rain in anywhere in sight for the next 24 hours. We do get some more clouds coming in Tuesday morning, but this time they're going to stick around for much of the rest of the day, and you see that approaching cold front there in the north. We'll start to see that pushing down into East Texas and should be arriving in our area during the wee hours of the morning there on Wednesday. Not really expecting much, if any, chance of showers along that front in East Texas, but it will move on through, and it is going to make a big difference in temperatures. About a 20-degree drop, which will put us back to just about where we expect to be for this time of the year. Still cloudy there on Wednesday at lunchtime and through the afternoon. Now we will start to see some showers moving in from the southwest. That will be occurring Thursday and we will have some showers in the forecast for Thursday and as we head on into the weekend. Right now here's what our temperatures look like. They were mostly in the upper 70s. We do have a few 80s scattered in there. Henderson, Longview, Hemp Hill all at 80 degrees right now. And normally we're anywhere around 65 degrees this time of the year for our high temperatures. So uh, these temperatures right now about 15 degrees above the normal. Monday morning, we're going to be dropping down to near 60 degrees across the area, and then Monday afternoon should be seeing just about everybody into the lower 80s. Our record highs of Monday and Tuesday uh, run anywhere from about 86 to 87 degrees, so we're going to be short of that unless we just get a uh, temperature that just goes wild and moves on up into the mid 80s. Tuesday morning, we're into the 60s again, this time mid 60s for most of East Texas and a pretty gusty wind for the area. And we'll also see our high temperatures back into the 80s there Tuesday afternoon before that front starts to get closer to the area. So the next seven days, this is going to be our trend. Normal high about 64, and we're 82 for the next couple of days. Dropping to 63 behind that front on Wednesday and to 56. That'll be our coolest day of this week. On Thursday, we'll be at 56 and then start a warm up again to 67 on Friday and back into the 70s there by the weekend. Overnight, expect a low near 60 degrees, increasing clouds, south winds 15 with gusts to 25 miles per hour. And Monday, we're looking for a high around 82 again, mostly sunny skies, south winds near 15 miles per hour with some higher gusts. Tuesday, gusts to 30 miles per hour, gusts to 30 on Wednesday as that front moves in and you see the drop in temperature. Scattered showers become a little more likely, but only about a 20% chance there Thursday and pre-dawn type on Friday. And then Saturday, Today will be rain free, but scattered showers start to move back in with a 20% chance there on Sunday. And we're back into the 70s, about 10 degrees above normal for this time of the year. Uh, same thing for Deep East Texas, slightly higher chance of some nighttime showers there Thursday. And we're talking about after midnight Thursday into the wee hours of the morning there on Friday. Check that forecast anytime at our website, kdk.com. Thank you, John.